I use data really and data techniques as a tool for investigation, not really looking at there's other forms of data journalism that is, if you like, exploring data and seeing where it, what story it tells and that sort of thing. But I use it slightly differently. I use it as a as a way of of uh, investigating people and following leads um, and in a, in a quite a focused focused way. So when I was working on the uh, uh, CIA, I used data uh, about flight plans of jet planes to identify uh, who was which planes belonged to the CIA and to correlate those, those planes movements against the movement of prisoners to work out who was shipping these prisoners around. And that was to prove a story about uh, the practice of extraordinary rendition by the CIA. Um, in the work I've been doing in the last year about banks, I've been using data to uh, study corporate relationships to establish um, networks of individuals behind private firms, private networks of, excuse me, the private companies run the sort of on the side by uh, public uh, executives of major banks. Well, I'm sure there there is room for improvement. I mean, I think we all we all need to, you know, we all <laughs> you can criticise us all. I think that's the value of these kind of conferences. You just see what techniques people are using. We all try a bit of bit of each other's uh, magic uh, and try and make a new. Uh, recipe. I, you know, for me, everybody is different. I, I find the sort of story I like is a mixture of data and, you know, traditional interview work. It's, it's, it's much more interesting to look for inside a lot of data if you have, you know what you're looking for. If you have uh, some source that's told you, you know, if you do this long enough, you will find something. It's like if you're looking for a needle in the haystack, it's useful to know that the needle is in the haystack and you're not just searching for, for nothing. So I like to be quite focused in, in what I'm doing. So that's my, I think the stories are, are more interesting ultimately. So uh, if you really have a rich combination of data and you know, human material. It's always great to know uh, what colleagues are up to, and also because I'm, I always have people in mind for when I'm coming out on a new, a new story. Ah, uh, yes, I met someone at that conference. Let's bring them up, and they can maybe help me tell me where what the source of data is in their country. I rely a lot on on friends in uh, other countries to help me with what I'm doing. And uh, I suppose the other, the other thing I follow with great interest the uh, investigation into offshore. Uh, money, which was run by the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists, and there's been some panels explaining the technical work they did to take a big big amount of data and turn it into a, uh, a series of very good stories, and, and that was very interesting to me. The stories that are worth investigating are what other people aren't doing, that's all. Uh, it's uh, about holding holding people to account. Uh, the newspapers are filled with what people want you to know. They're largely driven by public relations and announcement by governments and public agencies. So the point is to ask what matters to people, uh, why, who's you know who's suffering, who's not protected by the system and what can we do on their behalf to challenge uh, the reasons for their misfortune or oppression and that's where I think uh, investigative journalism comes in it's to fill the gaps it's to say we ask the questions around here on behalf of people uh, and let's work out the reason why things happen and it's not always about pointing the finger sometimes it's just about explaining uh, making sense of the world for people because there's a lot of confusing events going on and uh, it's not enough just to publish the views of people who uh, 
have a, an interest in uh, in those events. It's uh, it's always hard work, and so half the time you want to give it up because it's hard work, because you never know what. You feel like you're mining, you know, digging into some tunnel, you know. You never really know if there really is a, a another side of the mountain, you know, if you're really going to come out the other side with anything. So it's very frustrating work sometimes, but uh, I find on usually it's uh, it's very rewarding. You know, most jobs are not advertised. Uh, most uh, because if you're a good journalist, you will find them yourself. Uh, so if you want to be involved in this kind of work you need to be persistent you need to keep asking because that's what makes good journalists so actually the main thing is if you actually want to do this work just get on and do it persistently ask people who you think might have jobs to uh, for jobs I mean you have to use the same techniques of investigative journalism to find a job in their business uh, it's quite it's very competitive but if you want to do it you, you will succeed